Hey guys, it's me, Hunter. Today is Sunday, November 7th, 2021. It is currently 5.05 where I am. It would have it would be 6.05 right now, but at 2 a.m. last night where I was, daylight savings happened. And because of that, I got an extra hour of sleep last night, which ultimately feels pretty good. And I'm relieved that we get an extra hour than losing an hour because in March, we're going to be losing an hour. So that's good because I get a little bit of extra sleep, which is nice. And the only downside to that is that right now it's five o'clock and it's already dark outside. So I'm not really a fan of these early, um, early sundowns or, um, not a fan of it getting dark at 4.30, 5 o'clock, but it is what it is. I'm just going to have to get used to it. It's going to take a little bit of time, but I'm not a fan of it, but that's just how I feel. Um, so there's something good that comes out of it and something that something not as good that comes out of it. So the good thing is I get more sleep. The bad thing is the days are now getting shorter. And then the winter solstice, which is what, December 20th, 21st? 22nd. I think it's on the 21st this year because it's not leap year and then normally it will be on the 20th for leap year. That will be in just over a month, like a month and two weeks away. And yeah, so that's that. Um, I have some very exciting news. Um, two great things happened this weekend. One is yesterday I went to Comic-Con and... I ended up meeting one of my big celebrity crushes that I've had for about 10 years now. I ended up meeting Peyton List. It was an awesome, awesome moment. Um, I ended up waiting in line for well over two hours. I went to the Comic-Con. My purpose was to meet the Cobra Kai cast. I don't know how many of you guys have heard the show Cobra Kai. It's a spinoff to the Karate Kid series, the Karate Kid movies from the 1980s. So if you guys are fans of the movies from then, Karate Kid from the 80s, then obviously I would I would hope that you would be fans of Cobra Kai, which is a Netflix spinoff to those movies, The Karate Kid. I, of course, am a big fan of Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai never dies. Um, so I went yesterday to meet the Cobra Kai cast. I was hoping to meet at least a few characters from the cast. Um, but then when I got there... Yesterday, I was there from like 12.50 to just after 5. I was there for about four hours yesterday, three to four hours. I got there, I got to the center, I got there like just after 1 o'clock and the lines were very long. I was expecting there to be long lines, not as long as I had seen. So then when I got there, I ended up going with a couple college buddies of mine yesterday. I got there. And then seeing how long the lines were, I'm like, I asked to myself, which person do I want to see the most? Because I'm probably going to be able to only see one or two. If I had to pick one person, who would it be? So then I'm like, you know what? I'll meet Peyton List first. And maybe I'll meet one or two other cast members if I can. So I ended up waiting in line longer than I expected. But I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to stay in line and eventually... So I waited in line. I was in line at 1.30. I wanted to get in line, but then there was one person working there that was like, hey, you know, you got to wait up in the backup line because the line's very long. So I basically went upstairs and waited for a little while, about a half hour. Then at two o'clock, one of the security guards said, hey, you know, those of you, you can start going down now. So at two o'clock, I start walking down. Then I get in line. Then I'm in line from like just over two hours. I, I get in line at like two o'clock. And then by 3.15, I'm sort of like near the end of the line, but then I'm there for almost another hour because, you know, people, you know, had long conversations with this person. And then by about 4.10, 4.15, I went up, I said hi to Peyton List, had a short conversation, would have talked to her longer, but because there were so many people that wanted to meet her, I did kind of have to keep it brief. Um... For those of you that don't know Peyton List, she is a actress. Um, she was a child actress. Uh, she was in a lot of movies and films that I saw growing up. I was a big fan of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books when I was little. And 
I was also a big fan of the movies when I was in middle school. I started reading the Diary of Wimpy Kid books when I was in fifth grade. And then the summer before I was in sixth grade, the first Diary of Wimpy Kid movie came out. I'll never forget that. So Peyton List, she was in Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules, the movie, and then she was in Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Dog Days, the movie. And those movies came out in 2011 and 2012. And then she was in this Disney show, Disney TV show called Jessie, which aired from 2011 to 2015. And now she's in Cobra Kai, which started in 2018. And the fourth season is going to come out at the end of this year. I'll do another Cobra Kai uh, review series in another video. Um, so yeah, I've, I've heard about Peyton List. I heard it, first heard about her in 2011. That was 10 years ago. It's now 2021. So meeting her is definitely something that I can check off my bucket list. We had a nice conversation. I ended up getting her autograph, which was really nice. And I ended up getting, I think, five selfies with her. And another good friend of mine actually joined me. And yeah, it was definitely a dream come true. And it still feels unreal that, that I actually met her, um, honestly. But it was something, for sure. And then on Friday night, I ended up going to bingo night at my college. I ended up winning a, a big TV, a big plasma TV. I still haven't set it up yet. I'm actually not sure what I want to do with it at this point. But I ended up winning a free TV at bingo night on Friday because I won bingo. It was a weird bingo game. So I guess that's the second thing that happened. And then the third thing that happened on Friday night, another good thing. I ended up asking someone out, which definitely took a lot of courage and confidence. It was a big jump for me, big risk, because I have had this fear for a while. Um, the person said no, but obviously I understood, and rejection's part of the process, and ultimately it did end well, even though I didn't initially get what I wanted, but it ended well. We're still good friends, and I don't know if I'll go into that in another video, but um, that's what I've been up to this weekend, and it's been quite an eventful weekend, probably one of the best weekends I've had in a long time. Um, good things are definitely coming my way. I graduate college in just over a month, and I don't know what I want to do afterwards. I'm figuring it out still. But um, yeah, I'm putting myself out there more. I'm making up for the year that I missed out on last year because in 2020, I did not get to do a lot of things. I didn't get to do a lot of things last year that I'd wanted to do because of the pandemic. But this year, I've been trying to make up for that. And I think I'm doing it. So I have a lot of hopes for the end of this year as well as next year. I think 2022 is going to be another great year. This year was certainly a lot better than last year, and I do have, I'm happy that Thanksgiving's coming up and that Christmas is coming up. I'm excited to be finishing school. It's going to feel weird and scary too, but it's also very exciting. And yeah, I also have my last college cross-country race coming up this upcoming Saturday. It'll be my last college race ever. It's very hard to believe, and... I don't know how I feel about it. I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm nervous or sad or excited. Like, I don't know what feelings come up first when I think about it. But honestly, I guess I feel kind of honored in a way that, you know, I just think back to my freshman year of college four years ago when I first started cross country to where I am now. I mean, my running kind of declined since my sophomore and junior year, but I mean, I just think back to the leadership that I've gained since then because I'm the co-captain now of the team. So it definitely feels like a big honor and I'm definitely going to run in this race. And then, um, yeah, you know, things, things are kind of, you know, I'm sort of at that point now where, where I'm, you know, I'm putting myself out there and good things are happening. And then, you know, there are certain things that are sort of winding down for me now that I'm sort of at the end of my college career. So, you know, I'm, I'm stepping my game up more because, like, I'm, I'm going to be entering the real world soon. And, you know, it's just a lot of things are happening. I don't, I don't know if I feel overwhelmed. I mean, I don't really feel that. I did 
feel some of that before, but like now, I don't know. I feel like good things are starting to happen to me and, um, it's been a long time coming. Um, for those of you that have watched my videos way back in what, 2012, you know, you've probably seen the few of you that have watched me that far back. I'm sure you've seen how, how far I've come since then. And, um, you know, I was kind of having mixed feelings last month because I was, I did do some community college before I actually started college. And I was thinking, you know, if I did community college for another year or two, I probably would be in school longer, which would kind of be a nice feeling. I was thinking back then a little while ago, but now I'm sort of at that point where I'm kind of happy to be done with school soon. I am going to miss being in school. I'm going to miss college a lot. I'm going to miss all the friends I've made. I'm going to miss all the clubs and the fun memories. I'm not going to miss doing my thesis, especially during a pandemic, but that definitely feels like a big accomplishment. I, I still have to do a presentation on my thesis. I'm hoping to do that in a few videos from now, but, um, you know, this has been quite the year, quite a year and a half. I mean, honestly, this year has been quite the year. I mean, I'm really making progress. I'm catching up cognitively. I'm hoping to continue that. I'm a little bit worried about ending college soon in that regard because I feel like I've been catching up these last few months on things that I haven't really done before. So it's kind of going to be hard for me once I move back home. It's going to be hard to do those things, but maybe I'll figure out some way to keep doing them. Uh, I think I will. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping to. Fingers crossed. I'm going to be getting a job right after college. Um, I'm thinking about doing grad school. I'm definitely not going to do it right away. Um, I don't know. Even if I do it in like, you know, whether in the next few years, the next five years or 10 years, I have no idea what the future holds at this point. But I'm going to be working right after college. My plan is I'm going to get a job. I'm going to work, probably live at home for maybe a year, move out. Uh, I'm planning to live with a friend of mine. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's good to move up and it feels good to be moving up in the world, even if I have to move back home for a little while to save up. Um, I'm not exactly what sure what job I want to get at this point. I'm thinking of either working uh, with kids with special needs, students with special needs in the autism field, um, or I could get a job anywhere else. Honestly, at this point, I'm sort of focused on looking into getting a job. I haven't been actively looking at jobs lately, but um, I'm going to be doing that pretty soon. I'm thinking, you know, once I finish school, I'll start looking for jobs and and just see what happens. But it's, it's exciting stuff. It's exciting stuff. And at this point, I'm kind of used to uncertainty at this point. I mean, yes, we did go through a major pandemic, which definitely added a lot of uncertainty in our, into our daily lives on top of the uncertainty that we dealt with before you deal with regularly. And at this point, you know, I, I sort of have an, enough life experience to just be used to it at this point. I mean, it just is what it is. I just roll with the punches and, and accept what comes my way. Also while working hard and persevering at my own pace, I feel like having a balance between the two is the way to go. Um, okay. So, that's my, uh, that's what I've been up to this weekend and hope you guys are all doing well. Happy daylight savings and I will make another video soon. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned.